the second most uh, requested video I've had. In fact, it's the most requested after I did the Para 3 collection was mainly PM2s, but just the other Spartaco. People have noticed that I've had different Spartaco as the Manix, you know, Shaman. So I'm going to do quick videos on the paramilitary twos that I have and um, then eventually get around to the shamans and then the Mannix twos. My main focus in my collection is the para three. Uh, I've happened, I didn't realize I even had this many para twos until I looked. You know, there were certain ones that I bought just because I wanted them and there were other ones that I bought because I wanted to use them as, you know, trade bait or just something that I could use to get another knife if I missed out on it. So. Start off, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other videos. I'm going to try to give as much useful info as I can on when, what the distributor or vendor that sold them, if it was a sprint run, how many. I got most of the information from Spider Wiki, which you can get online, uh, but th that's not exact information either. So the first one is the Paramilitary 2 by Motang Distributing. It was a distributor wide ex uh, exclusive with the brown S35 VN DLC coated blade. There was a thousand to twelve hundred these made and the street price was $174.99. Number two is the DLT Trading exclusive purple G10 DLC Crew wear a blade. Six to twelve hundred of these. It says, one hundred eighty-two dollars was the street price. Oh, also, I was going to put a build code on there. The build code on this one is FT. People know Spyderco; they know how to look that up. The B is for the year, and you know the first letter is for the year, and the second letter is for the month. So this one is FT, as in Frank Tommy. And that uh, S35VN was BS, as in boy, Sam. Number three is the Paramilitary 2 Cody Brown DLC-coated blade of CPM10V. Sorry for the background there. I guess my uh, dog is eating. Didn't even notice it until right now. So this was sold by River's Edge Cutlery. There were 700, it says I was pretty specific number, so I'm gonna go with that. 700, there was also satins that dropped, I think for 14 total, 700 of each. The build code is BT, as in Boy Tom, and 169.95 was the purchase price. This is the St. Nick's Red G10 DLC. CPM4V in their series of knives. Pretty much have all of them. The build code on this one was KS. There were 1200 and 174 95 was the uh, cost. So this is the Knifeworks Green G10. CTS 204P it was actually a distributor exclusive by Blue Ridge Knives and I think that Knifeworks has bought all the runs. There were three runs of these total. 800 was the first, I think it was in 2015 or 16. 400 on the second run and then the last one I got in on was 628. Once again it was a Blue Ridge Knives distributor exclusive which I didn't know about. I thought it was just Knifeworks but Knifeworks is the only one that sells them. I think they bought the whole runs. $149.95 was the last drop price you know, for this uh, knife. And the build code on this one is JR, James Romeo. River's Edge Cutlery, CTS 204P, PVD coated blade. The build code is LS. Six to twelve hundred of these. Supposedly there's going to be more, so I don't know if they drop six hundred in the beginning, and then uh, they're going to drop another six, or if it's going to be twelve for both runs. This is the PVD coated blade, which uh, I also have the Para Three variant. 
169.99 was the purchase price or drop price on this one. The Blade HQ Jade G10 CPM M4 DLC coated blade. They also did a satin one of these, a version of these. Build code is LQ. A thousand to two thousand is what it said on Spider Wiki. I'm not quite sure exactly how many. I don't know if the two thousand is worth the satin, and there was a thousand of each. I'm not quite sure on that one. LQ once again was the build code, and one seventy four ninety five was the DLC price. This is a regular production, but I had it. I had it in, uh, I have a couple of these, I use one and then this is one that I have, you know, it's probably going to end up as a gift to somebody or just, you know, it's one of the knives I keep as a second. I have seconds in the pair of three too. This is the Maximate, gray G10. This is a regular production. This build code was BT and they're 217 and basically they sell them. They're making small batches, they sell them, they, they uh, sell out, and then uh, you know you see them again. I think they just dropped here recently. So the next one is the JB Outman distributor. All right, this is another one I didn't know of. I thought this was just DLT. DLT was the only one that sold them. It's red G10 with Bowler M390 steel. 159.25 and 1,000 to 1,200 total. The next two were also DLT trading. This is the Satin. Tan G10 CPM 20 CV. This one has a, oh the build code on this one is DS as in Dog Sam, the uh, red M390. This build code is GR. 900 to 1000, 142.97. The DLC version of the same knife has a build code of CS. There were 800 of them made, 149.50. It's a pretty good, you know, it's only seven, eight bucks difference in the DLC. Usually the DLCs between one or the other is, you know, between 10 and $15 when they do both. This is the recent sprint run. Spyderco Paramilitary 2 with the diamond arced textured green G10 and the CPM S45VN blade steel. 1200 obviously, it was a sprint run from Spyderco. I don't know if I gave the, the uh, build code CS on this one and the build code on this is CT. 1200 obviously, 157.50 for this sprint run. This is a couple years ago, I think by now, uh, Paramilitary 2, Rex 45, Burnt Orange G10 Sprint. They came out with the pair of three, the Military and the Paramilitary 2. That was the first one. Now they're doing all the other Golden Maid models. This year, I think there's seven or eight of them. This one went for 146.22. The build code was ER, and they were 1200. This here is the recently re uh, released Blade HQ. I know there's a lot of grumbling on people wanting this to be a regular production. This is the Tanto by Blade HQ, CPM S30V, the compound grind. You can definitely feel the different heft in this blade when you pick it up. Nice knife. Black G10. Build code on this is DT. Supposedly there was 1,200 that dropped this first run, and 192.95 was the cost. You know, and there are going to be more of them. So this is the forearm knife that came out a couple years ago. I think it was 2018. Don't quote me on that. S90V with the diamond inlay, the uh, spider inlay. I don't know if that's pewter or some kind of metal. 
It's got the, oh yeah, right here at Form Knife 2018. It says 700 of these were made. And once you, uh, there was some kind of deal in the beginning, you had to put your code in or whatever, where you got the discount. It was 161.97 was the street price. Pretty good deal for, uh, you know, S90V and this decorative. A lot of people, either people hated it or they loved it. They were around for a while. I actually liked it. I think it's a great looking knife. You know, it's not something I'm going to use every day. I think I bought a couple of these. So some honorable mentions. I also had a K390 Bento box. So that was $184.95. And I traded that for, I think I talked about in a video, my buddy Merrick in Indonesia. I got the uh, Crewwear Para 3, which I needed to finish my collection. And then I had the Smooth Crewwear, Smooth G10 Crewwear from Knife Center. That was $155.97. I think there was only 1,200 of those, and I traded that away for a backup of a pair of three uh, recently on Blade Forms. So a lot of these are going to be traded away, or I'll do a knife sale on my channel. I don't know exactly. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And then the last one I have here is just my daily user. I love this knife. It started off as a S110V, you know, with the Bopal scales. I sanded those down and then used it for a while. Then I bought this. I think this is Rips Garage Tech Micarta, which I absolutely love. They fit perfect. And then I added the, uh, I think this is a Rips Garage Tech 2, also machined clip, which it just is fantastic retention. It goes pretty deep in the pocket. You can see it. Now, this is my favorite paramilitary material that I use. It's just a stellar knife. It's got a mirror edge, a polished edge on it. And uh, I cut a lot of cardboard, and this you know, S110V is just a cardboard eating machine. This is obviously my favorite, you know, PM2 that I actually use and when I do, you know, carry a PM2. So that's my collection of the paramilitary 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and everybody's uh, doing well.